Hello Survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We are over in, uh... What the heck is this called? Kitty Land or something? It's a kid's area. Kitty Kingdom. There we go. Yeah, Kitty Kingdom of uh, this area. Last time we learned that uh, although you can indeed hop onto the Ferris wheel, uh, you might have some issues getting down. So, thankfully I had power armor on when that happened, otherwise I would have been stuck up there and would have had to jump down. This area is still spewing toxic crap for whatever reason. I remember, like, being able to turn it off. Uh, someone also mentioned there was something I was I was looking down that I was supposed to pick up. There was an item I was supposed to get. Um, this to open the power armor. Um, I know there is Nuka Quantum power armor here. There is a quantum set of XO1 here. There's also just a set of XO1 sitting over there in that other house, which is crazy, but you know. Uh, we can't get there right now anyway. There's some way to get there. I'm just not sure how to get there. I think I've mostly explored this area. At least the uh, Kitty Kingdom area. I'm going to do like one more lap around and make sure. That I've gotten everything. No power armor, so I can't jump over that, but that's okay. I think I've already been back there. Okay, this is the exit area. Can go down south from here. I don't want to exit just yet. Let me check. Did I go... I guess you can't go back into there from here. I want to see what's back in that employees only area. If only I had a jetpack on this thing. I guess I could try to build one, but that'd be a lot. A lot of junk gathering, and who knows if I'd find enough. I just saw Nuka something. I thought. Oh, Nuka Cola Cup. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Eh, uh, whatever, we'll keep going, I guess. So, was I able to get back in the back area then? Okay, yeah, that wasn't over here yet. There are traps everywhere over here. Well, it just stops it suddenly like that. Imagine you're on there and, like, it just stops. Like, just hit a button and just dead stop instantly. You go flying out of there. Super safe, guys. Super safe. What are these all going to trigger, then? These, uh, these traps... And also, can I ride this? I don't see how. I wonder if there's anything in any of these. Oh, they're Nuka Cola bottles. I didn't even like notice that until just now. Do they go up and down? No, they just they just they just go around in a circle. Okay. Yeah, they just they just suddenly stop. It's just like there's no spin down at all. It's just <laughs> hitting hitting the brakes, slamming on the brakes. Sorry if you're uh, if you have forward momentum, you're gonna be kind of screwed, you know. I heard some clunking. Hello. More traps that are not. Ooh. Excellent. Hey, it's a thirst sapper. This is a squirt gun. Um What does it use for ammo? Oh, it's Nuka Acid. Is that what it uses for ammo?
I guess it's infinite ammo. It's just like as fast as you can click it. Oh my gosh, it is. Does it do damage? It doesn't have a damage stat on it. Maybe you can find a mod for it or something, or maybe you can mod it a workbench and turn it into a proper uh, weapon. I, I remember, like, seeing something about this somewhere. I just don't remember what it was. Oh, this is where the cars go in, right. Here is a tunnel. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ, it almost killed me! Literally almost killed me. Let's... Okay, let's, let's not do that again. Literally almost one-shot me. I guess that answers that. Yes, they do hurt quite a bit. We'll just go over here instead. I don't know why it's so novel to like it's so interesting to me that I can jump on these and actually and actually like ride them but it, it is for some reason like it's interesting that they worked all this stuff in some poor programmer had to figure out how to make a spinning thing you can actually jump onto and uh, have locomotion for the player in this engine I really need something to shoot now because I want to test this thing out. It feels like I'm going slower because this thing, I don't know, it's weird. Even though I'm not. Because that thing's turning. Nuka Zapper Race, and then... What do we have over here? This is not a very helpful map, man. It's like cut off. Okay, this side actually has stuff on it. I guess I just didn't... Too lazy to... I don't know. It doesn't make sense for there to be a uh, map on that side of it, you know? Okay, let's uh, not get hit by the cars. Good, yeah, we're good. Just imagine, man, like some kid comes running out here and just bam, they're dead. I tried jumping on these things before. I really wanted to ride one. I'm pretty sure you can, but your chances of actually landing on it successfully and not just getting obliterated by it are pretty low. Like, possible, but not very plausible. Is this a costume I can get too? It is. Okay, right. Here is the... King Court... Oh, you can't go in here? Uh, I remember something about going in one of these areas. There was a, uh, a guy with a top hat and a, a unique weapon. A unique suit and a unique weapon. Somewhere around here. I'm not sure how he got in. Everyone's just dead over here. Because of the uh, rads and the gas, I guess. Might need that oil, actually. Never know. I'm not going to go out of my way to try and build, like, nice power armor, but I mean, if I can, I will. I can always just take the stuff off when I get back, you know? I mean, I don't even know if I'd use the X01, to be honest. Uh, I'm tanky enough as it is. you knock it in there? I was sure you could. And there was something interesting in there. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's just a big old prop. I don't know.
Maybe you have to just open it from somewhere else. Like, is there a computer terminal or something you have to use? That could be it. This really is a gun shop. In Kitty Kingdom, I'm, it makes sense. This is Fallout after all. Maybe it's in the water, but oh god, if I jump down there and I can't get back out, it's going to be a real bad time. There's got to be a way to get out somehow. There's a way to turn off the, um, the gas, too. I just don't remember it at all. All right, can I go further up north? Yeah, we are here. I, like, I want to go inside the castle. Because, obviously, you who wouldn't want to? But I don't see a good way of doing it. Whoa. Watch out, man. That car will take, you he take your head off. Oh, we can just come out over here, I guess, if we fall in the water. All right. Okay. Well, we'll have a look. Um, there's nothing here. This is quite murky. I am regenning my health, I guess, pretty much as fa the, the rads, like pretty much as fast as uh, I am getting them. So it's not that big of a deal. The irony: you are dehydrated from lack of water as we're. Swing around in Nuka Quantum. But yeah, Nuka Quantum doesn't have the best uh, visibility, I suppose. I mean, our power armor is going to be all sticky after this. It's going to attract bugs. Okay, well, that wasn't productive at all. This can't be that difficult, I mean... It's Fallout 4, I don't exactly have... Oh! Uh, wait a minute. Well, I discovered an area, but then there was nothing here. Is this the fun house? Where is the fun house? Is this the fun house? This has got to be the fun... I remember the fun house for some reason. Yeah, here, here we go. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was the fun house I met the crazy guy with the top hat and stuff in, uh... Regular yes. Fallout 4 when I was playing it. I do recall a funhouse type area. Okay. Sounds like ghouls in here. Got a chem station here. People are shooting each other. We got a uh, cooking station too. And a bed. Looking good yes. for a prospective base. 10% hand-to-hand weapon damage. This is pretty cool, actually. That was nuts. Chained on the other side. Okay, so linear dungeon. We go in on this side. We come out on the other side. Ooh, even a nice bed here. If there's a... Uh... Oh, it's a... It's a um... Yeah, it's one of those. Thankfully... Don't you do it. Thankfully, uh, the mirrors are all frosted up from, you know, years and years of whatever. Exits over here. Do I want to exit already? I don't know if I do. It doesn't hurt them, it just pushes them back. You can do it very quickly.
mine there. I wonder if that goes off through the uh, glass. Probably does. Okay, so this is the quote-unquote exit. Oh, there's another mine that would have killed me, probably. Quote-unquote exit, but uh, you can't actually exit there. Hear some physics going crazy over there. Something's flopping around real good. I was gonna see if there was a way to go up and just like go around everything, but no. No, there is not. Have we gone in a circle? No, I didn't get this. Okay, go this way. And around here. Okay, back to the beginning. Don't let yourself be defeated by the uh, Funhouse Wanderer. Okay, uh, over here. We haven't gone this way yet. Or have I gone this way? I don't think I have. Had to try it. Didn't think so, but I had to try it. There is quite a lot of oil on the floor here. Um, nice hat. Ooh, bunch of bunch of tickets. Didn't see that at first. Yeah, no, we can't go that way. Is there a local map? Uh, nope. <laughs> it's just uh, good luck. I could mark up the walls with laser bolt shots, I suppose. In an effort to make it more memorable. There's gotta be a way through here. Yeah, I remember this. I remember spending like a long time here because I, like I have told you guys over and over again, I am awful at directions. Okay, so we came out over here. Right, there's only one way to go in. Okay, I, I might do a cut here to when I've actually found the way through here so you guys aren't bored to tears as I struggle through this. Okay, guys, we're back. There's there's uh, actually nothing here. I think it's, it's bored up for now because it's like they have... Shut up, survivor. I think it's maybe... Over. Oh my god. I have to leave because these stupid people won't quit talking. Um, you're supposed to be able to go through that inaccessible door. That's, that was the actual exit of the maze. Uh, I was overthinking it. It's just not accessible right now, probably because they're going to have more uh, there in the future. So, yeah, you just can't go through there. But like I said, though, probably... Can I fill this at a station? With my Nuka-Cola cup? Or any bottle? I saw a bottle earlier I could have picked up. But I didn't. I forgot about it. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Can't do it in power armor. I don't want to get out of my power armor, that's going to be really bad. Whatever, I'm just leaving it. But yeah, I'm sure they'll have more there in the future. There is an interesting tunnel over here. Stay away from those freaking death cars, man. Okay. 
One. And there's another one that comes after it. And then we're good. Oh shit. Oh, oh boy. Better be something back here. Oh god, I don't think I can dodge him like this. Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Doorway here that you can probably go through outside of Frost, but it's blocked off here. Oh god. Oh no. Uh, there was no point. Well, I guess there would have been a point to it if I could have gotten through there, but there wasn't. Yeah, it's 70% of my health that I lose whenever I get hit by one of those. It's kind of brutal. It's kind of awful. Okay, I think that's that's all. Like, I don't... I can't do much else here, I don't think. We can't get in the castle. We can't go through the other side of the fun house. We can't... Yeah, it's pretty much it. Okay, well... We got some daylight left, so I'm gonna go south from here, then... Just don't get hit again, Wanderer, or else you're gonna be dead. Insta-dead, permadeath run over. No more videos. Children will cry. Children will cry? They'll cry. Not cry. They'll cry. All right. South it is. South we go. All right, I went through here already. Uh, I don't know if I went through here. On the back of this place? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so this might come out. Uh, this might be... Oh, okay, so here's how you get back here. All right. I'm waiting on how to get back there. We found out. But it's a communist. Oh, it's like a it's like a werewolf. They're killers, they're rapists, they're coming to get you. Those dirty communists. Didn't um didn't some uh like Chinese players get really upset over the anti-communist stuff in Fallout? Like it obviously it's like very heavily, you know caricaturized and everything in Fallout. It's all it's all in jest at this point, you know, but I think some people took it a bit too seriously. Something in a recent uh, update in Fallout 76, I think it was, pissed off some Chinese people pretty badly who could not take a joke. I mean, when scavs yell bad things at me and my character in uh, Tarkov, I don't get upset, you know? Or, uh, what's the other one? Uh, oh man, the old, uh, the original, the original Crisis. Remember the original Crisis? Oh my god. That game is so old now. There is a mountain up there. And that's going south, so I guess that's where we're going. We're going to the mountain. But the original Crisis, um... The, uh... I, I, I'm sorry, I forget what, like, nationality or whatever, you know, where that was based in. It was a long time ago, but, uh, the enemy soldiers would... yell at your character... and call you, quote, American Pig. Which I thought was quite amusing. It's all dark. I don't want to be exploring after dark, but I don't really want to go back right now either. So I guess we just keep going. We're going to be out of Fusion Core pretty soon. Need to find another one. I only had the two. That might be a reason why I don't end up using my power armor, so I don't have a Fusion Core for it. Okay, there's a... Area. Can I mark it? There we go. There's an area over there. I know I said I was going to uh, 
get rid of that mod, but then I started recording today and forgot about it, so... Here we are, folks. Sorry. The mod author of this did ask me to wait until the newest version was out, but, you know, like I said... Previously, it's it's been quite a while and it's not out yet, and I, I know it's not his fault, I'm just, uh... But, yeah. There will be many improvements to this... Once the latest version is out. I know I'm being like a, a mod author apologist, but it's because I've seen how nasty some of you folks are to mod authors. Not all of you, but some of you are just... I'm sorry, you're complete dickheads when it comes to mod authors. Uh, you just... You just take the old dumps on them. It's not nice. Those were all bottles, didn't want those, whatever, it's fine. Harvester, you say? Who's out there? Who, who could it be? Where are they? Is somebody there? Why are they? Why are they not? We got trouble. We'll get through this. Stay calm. Oh, well, you found me. Good job. Good job, man. You found me. What was that? Ooh, grilled ghoul meat. Ew. You gotta shoot him in the- oh wow, what was that? That was like, I went to shoot like this and- Wow, it's totally off. Oh Jesus. You all wanna fight, huh? I mean... Was a... Decent idea. No, nobody panic. I'm not panicking. Nobody's panicking. All right, the second plague. There's one thing we got to read. The second plague. Maybe they're blind from, you know, hanging around in the kitty kingdom for too long and getting all that toxin in their eyes. A workbench. Okay. Alright, whole bunch of stuff here. I'll take the cans. Because I will need some steel and aluminum eventually. Ooh, a nice bed. More quantum. Okay, let's read about the second plague. Let's see... Is it here? Yeah, it's here. The second plague was the reign of absolute darkness. Wreathing the land in shadow, it reduced everything that it touched to molten ruin and poison seas. Okay. These guys getting a bit biblical over here. Is that what I'm reading? Kind of reminds me of the uh, top of the world in 76. Fizzle top grill, expert lock, eh? I can do that. Sweet. In we go. I already have a park map. Gonna pass on that. more tickets. I got like a thousand earlier, though. I think we should be good. Ooh, Nuka-Cola Victory. Those are quite rare.
The ambient music in here is really loud. Oh, I'm like starving, aren't I? I guess I need food. My character would like to have some food. Not that food. We're gonna drop that one. Alright, this is... A little... A little odd. Hear more footsteps too. Let's do this. Wow, that was okay. Look, even by my standards, that was a pretty good, impressive headshot. Pretty impressive, uh, moving hip fire headshot there. The ghoul was less impressive. Weapons, armor, cooking. Power armor I saw as well. Bed. Did I find my new home? Plus this amazing art in here as well. Is this guy like puking in the toilet and she's just like covering her eyes like, oh my god. I can't, Tom, I can't believe you drank this much at the Christmas party. Jesus, you you see what I have to deal with, with Tom throwing up at the Christmas party? My God. This guy is just kind of backwards. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, and a chem bench. Well, that's everything, guys. We have literally everything we need here. This is the new home. I'll move everything over off, uh, off screen. Even grab some weapons and bring them over here so I can scrap them. But that's literally everything we possibly would need. So I'm gonna grab everything while we're here. And yes, I know game I've leveled up. Oh, that's a parlor restaurant key terminal. What's in here? User Julian signed in. I don't know if this is uh, Frost or main game stuff. I'm going to assume it's probably Frost stuff. Tunnels collapsed today. Too many lives were lost. We were lucky our part of the tunnel did not collapse completely. I'm not going down there again. Fair enough. Moving to the bar would be a great view, but thanks to the fog, I can't see much. Fair enough, Julian. Fair enough. Susan got drunk tonight. She destroyed one of the windows in the bar and tried to jump out of it. You know, fair enough, Susan. It's a pretty shitty world you live in. We spied ghouls to the south. A lot of ghouls. Might be my last terminal entry. We will defend the town and the others will escape through the tunnels. I don't fear them. Since the day of the collapse, I don't feel anything anymore. It's time to go. They'll be here soon. So was one of these guys Julian, and one of these guys was, uh, Susan? Patio over here. I want to make sure I explore the rest of this place first. If there is any more to explore, I think that's it. Just got the bathrooms. The bed. Oh, safe. Yes, I'll take that. Got it. Why do I even pick up money anymore? Like, it doesn't matter. I will never have a use for this money. I'm just gonna dump everything into here for now. I think... Nuka Acid. I don't still know what this is used for, but okay. I'm gonna put that in there for now as well as that. Pick that up earlier in the maze. And, uh... Should be good. I can sort stuff later on. Oh yeah, we have a whole bunch of stuff here. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm picking this stuff up. We have plenty of ammo for the rest of the game, probably. Okay, uh, let's check out the patio. Our place even comes with a nice patio over here. 
What more could you ask for? Get a nice view of the area. This is like the main, uh, was this like the main quest area? Like where one of the main, like where you're introduced to the, the, uh, various factions in Nuka World? That's it. I don't recall. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played. Were these here? Were these guys here by default? You're pointing down. Is there something in there? It's pointing down at the ground there. I don't I don't see anything, my man, I'm sorry. Lots of bottles. I guess I can like, just take everything literally and just come back for it all. No, not that. God damn it. Was well, there anybody here? I mean, I guess I could. Uh, I'm going to stay in the power armor. I'm a wimp. I don't have any armor at all. If I get, like, shot by even a BB gun, my character will just fall over dead instantly. I was going to say I could maybe conserve some fusion core by not going in here, but this is a bad idea. Ooh, we have the nice uh, master bed suite over here. Is this all enclosed? No, nah, this is, uh, this, there's an open window here. That's where Susan tried to jump out. Ah, oh, Susan. Susan, why would you go do thing like that? You know, being a go- Ooh, fusion core. Thank goodness, I was getting low. It's not all bad being a ghoul, Susan. There's some perks. My next playthrough will be as a ghoul, most likely. Wow. Instantly got it. Nice. I'm just so good at this game. This is a nice save. Two stim packs. Pretty good. I think, guys, I think going to Nuka World, like, immediately is probably pretty viable, at least in the current state. Like, if you can avoid the ghouls, you can get some pretty easy power armor. Like, it wasn't, well, the rads would be an, an issue, I guess. The rads would be real tough to get past. Unless you have some rad away. Okay, but otherwise, it, it wouldn't be that bad. We're just going to do the, the good old uh, take everything it's not nailed down strategy here. The patented strategy from Fallout 4 Horizon. Take all the things. No exceptions. And then put it back in the, uh, the workbench back there. I do think I am safe over here, so... Instead of burning my core up here... I'll just break my legs doing this. I don't think I'll actually break my legs. I'm pretty sure you can't break your legs once you have the perks that I have. But it'd be funny if I did. Is that all the stuff? I think that's all the stuff. I guess we'll just take everything and I'll just scrap everything I can. For as many materials as possible. This guy's pointing down there, too. Nothing there, my man. I 
Can't really use that right now, so I'm just gonna drop it, I guess. Anything else? There's some stuff here, there's some that. One more check outside here. Get the baseball bat too, cause why not? I can always actually like use that if I wanted to, I suppose. Probably won't, but I could. I think we're done. I've done a good couple sweeps through here. And this just goes back outside, huh? Uh, yeah, I see a harvester over there. I'll shoot him later. He can live for the night. Okay, are we are we good? I think we're good. Just gonna hop back in here and take it back inside so I can try and work on it, see if I can make any adjustments like uh, calibrated leggings. Though I have to run back to the other area and grab all my stuff and bring it over, because I had quite a bit of junk I collected in the other area. Look at that beautiful parking job. Okay. Let's take a look here. It's already F, which is good. I could do a brighter headlamp, which would be fan-freaking-tastic. Um, it does take fiber optics, which is kind of rough. Don't know if I want to do that. What about a jetpack mod? Uh, we're surprisingly close being able to make that. I just need some nuclear material, some more, and I can make that. That'd be pretty cool. It'd help me get around a lot better. Calibrated leggings? No. We need, uh, fi yeah, fiberglass. I knew that was going to be the, the thing I needed. Okay, everything else we've got. So if I find a bunch more fiberglass, we're good there. Fiberglass and torso, we're gonna tag. Already got nuclear material tagged, okay. The energy damage would be kinda nice for an arm attack, so it'd be kinda cool. Just need some rubber for that. I'll look for that too, sure. Maybe just basic hydraulic bracers for more unknown damage. It's gonna beat up my, um... I can just make this now. I need blacksmith for this. I need blacksmith for all these. Never mind. I can't make these. It's not... Well, maybe I could invest in it. I guess I could. Probably won't, though, to be honest. I could also make a targeting HUD, which would be really nice. Uh, this is pretty easy to make. I mean, it does take circuitry, but circuitry is not that uncommon. It'd be super nice to be able to see people out here, so yes, we'll go ahead and do that. And then next thing is going to be uh, getting kind of braided shocks, which is just fiberglass. Okay. Which I have some fiberglass already saved up. In the other area. Alright guys, well, we have a home now. Surprisingly, like, pretty easily we have a home. We had to take it from poor Susan and, uh, whatever his name was, or, yeah, uh, whatever his name was. Uh, wait, where's the elevator go? Is That's not where I came in at, right? Or was that where I came in? Did I come in on the elevator? 
I must have. Yeah, no, I did. I did. I remember the music. Ne never mind. I'm a dummy. Yeah, we, were, we came through there. I was thinking you could go higher up. There's another area to explore, but no, that's that's where you came in at. That's that's fine. Okay, stuff is dumped off. It's late at night. I'm going to sleep for the night here, guys. We'll continue exploring in the morning. But that is going to be it for this episode, I think. Ooh, we're going to have to... Well, four hours is going to have to be enough sleep, I guess. Just going to have to deal with it. I want to I want to spend all day sleeping. Because then we'll be... That'll suck, you know? I won't have any... Uh... We'll have any time for exploration then. So, anyways, um, probably off screen, I'm going to run back over to the Nuka plant and grab the water refreshment and grab all my stuff from there and haul it all back down here. And uh, then we'll have a good stockpile of stuff and I can maybe make some calibrated shocks next episode and we can have a bit more carry weight on this thing and uh, we'll be in good shape. So, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.